it's two rounds. And for those two rounds, it's going to be the first part, the toe touches. So 10 toe touches into a back extension. For the toe touch, think of it as a downward dog, but then you're going to reach for your toes. So let me show you the full movement first. You're going to come plank, downward dog, toe touch, toe touch. When you come back to plank, you're going to drop to the ground and lift into that back extension. From there, you're going to ground the hands and feet, push back into downward dog again, toe touch, toe touch to the ground and up into a back extension. The other movement for this one is a stretch for your pecs. So if you don't have a doorway to come into like a door frame, you're gonna do this one like a scorpion. So you're gonna be lying down again with that twist to one side. But as you're lying down on the ground today, instead of having your arms straight to the sides, you're gonna be bent at 90 degrees with your elbows. And you're going to do five of those to each side with that slight rotation like a scorpion. So you guys are going to work through two rounds of that. First 10 toe touch into back extension and then 10 of the scorpion rotations if you don't have a doorway. So you guys can go ahead. Two rounds. If you want to mute yourself and put some tunes on that's fine as well. So first, you're going to press back, stretch out those lats, reach for one toe, reach for the other. Come back to plank to the ground and up into an extension. Yeah, you got it, Laura. Like Sarah and Jen are doing, you could also do that back extension as like an upward dog where you keep your hand grounded and just get some extension through your lower back, if that feels better for you. Just keep working through 10 reps here. So from there, Laura, you don't have to walk your hands back to your feet. Just push back into that downward dog from there. Oh. Yeah. And then reach and reach. Yeah, you got it. I was more work than I needed to. Yeah, you were. <sighs> when you get through 10, you're going to stretch out those pecs. You're going to find a doorway, hold for 30 seconds, or five per side of that 90 degree scorpion. Good morning, Tina. I have to make my screen bigger. I didn't see you. There we go. Good morning. Oh, I scared him. No. He just wants me to go play. Aww. <laughs> Once you get those pecs stretched out, you're going to go into round two. Same thing the second time. Are 
You want me to do your workout right now? I'm going to put a different show on. And once again, once you get through 10, I'm going to stretch out those pecs one more time. And then we'll move to the next part of the warm up. Next part moves a little bit quicker. This one's more for some stretching on a Monday morning. Matt and Cynthia are back. So we'll get started here soon, guys. Matt and Cynthia, you can just hold up. Not sure what that was. Okay. So next part of the warm up, this part's going to move a little bit quicker. You're going to get your heart rates up a bit. It's going to be three rounds this time, 10 to 15 bunny hops, which I'll show you. And then 10 push ups. Make these push ups, like always in the warm up, super easy for you. So grab a box or go down to your knees if you have to. For the bunny hops. Bunny hop, you're coming into, it's kind of like a squat jump, but only a quarter squat. Let me back up so you can see my entire body. So you're still going to send the hips back as if you're going down into a squat, but you're just kind of coming into a bit of a quarter hinge. And then from there, jumping tall. A bit of a hinge, jumping tall for 10 to 15 reps. Then find the box, table, chair, whatever you have, 10 push ups. So Daniel, what can I do instead of the bunny hop? Ten push-ups for three rounds this time. Kenya, what can I do instead of the bunny hop? Instead of the bunny hops, uh, are you going to be skipping today? Yeah, I'm going to be skipping. I'm going to try. It's not all row. So instead of the bunny hops, do push-ups. And then let's just stretch out your calves a little bit more. So no downward dog, but come into plank and just kind of heel touch. Okay. Keeping your heels back, stretching okay. out the backs of your legs more. All right. Yeah. Thank you. You guys can go ahead. Three rounds. 10 to 15 jumps. 10 push ups. Times three. Good, Sarah. Doesn't have to be a jump to the sky. Just extend through those hips. You don't have to reach down, Matt. Think of it just kind of like a hinge like this. Yeah, there you go. And use your arms as momentum on the way up. Good. Hi, Marianne. Sorry, I had a warm up already. That's okay. That's okay. Jump in. We're just in the last little bit of the warm up here, and then we'll be jumping into the workout. Good, Jen. I said this a lot, but three rounds of this, guys. <laughs> nice, Laura. <laughs> That's called making do. Wow. <laughs> I'm sure he's loving it. <laughs> Good, Tina. All right, I think we're in our last round here. Uh, 
I'd say Tina started jumping and then she had to go to the bathroom. <laughs> She's gone. <laughs> oh, there she is. Um, so Tanya, yeah, should like push-ups are are hard enough on the ground <laughs> ground for me. So should I like I can do ten in a row, but they'll start to decline as my rounds go. Should I do them from the ground or should I do incline? Like, what do you think for this? You can do ten from the ground. Okay. Yeah. No, you can. Yeah. Yeah. No, I would. I would definitely start there. Tina, then if you get in the later rounds, you're finding you have to really break them up. Maybe then go to an incline to keep moving. Okay. It's definitely good to keep working to the ground. If you have that strength, at least start there. Yeah. Okay, I'll start there. I'll probably have to either go to my knees or go, go incline, but I'm better going incline than going to my knees, right? Is what you're saying? Yes, that would okay. be my recommendation. Go incline over going to your knees. Okay. All right, guys, I'm gonna share my screen one more time. I'm gonna go over this Metcon with you before we get into it. Gonna see my chocolate pro come back up for the workout. Eight rounds for time, 10 chair push ups, and then you're skipping. Just make sure you take note of the reps of your skipping because I'm, the screen is not gonna be sharing today as you're working out. So just make sure that you know your reps before we get into this. So eight rounds, 10 push ups, and then the number of skips that you have. But every two minutes, we're gonna stop and we're going to be doing eight to 10 ground to overhead. For the ground to overhead, once I unshare this screen, I'll show you those. But for the ground to overhead, there's many options we can do depending on the equipment we have today. So just ask me questions on those if you're not sure what to do. So the way this is going to work at the zero, so I'm gonna say three, two, one, go. When I say go, you're starting with those ground to overhead. Once you get through the ground to overhead, then you're gonna start accumulating your eight rounds of the push-ups and skipping. On the two minute mark, say you're on your fourth push-up of the second round, you're gonna stop there, go back to your ground to overhead, and then go back to your fifth push-up in that second round. So you keep accumulating rounds until you get to eight, but every two minutes, I'm going to be telling you to stop and go back to your ground to overhead. So that's the workout. Any questions on the way the workout works? Good. You just, you have to get to the end of six rounds and we'll all finish at different times because- You'll all finish at different yeah. times. It's eight rounds though, Tina. Oh, I don't know why I saw six. Why does it say six? It did say six this morning. It's a typo, but it's eight. Oh, it's eight, okay. <laughs> you're, okay. You're not wrong in saying that. It did say six, but, but it's eight. Sorry, I missed that. Yeah. We already warmed up our push-ups. We already did a little bit of jumping, but I want to see everyone with our ground overhead options, just to make sure that we have good options. And then at this time, you can ask me questions if you have them. So Laura, with that med ball, I don't have a med ball here, but what Michelle wants you to do, you're gonna pick up the med ball, catch it in a squat, like a squat clean. From there, you're gonna press it overhead and then back down to the ground. So med ball clean and press. It's kind of like a squat clean thruster. And the ground to overhead for um, dumbbells? Yes. Does it matter? Oh, two do? dumbbells if you have it. Do you have two? Yep. Yeah. Two dumbbells is a good option. And so what are we doing? Just cleaning it and getting it up? You got it. Clean and work if you have two dumbbells. Yeah. Yeah, and you have a med ball too, don't you? Me? Yeah. Yeah. How heavy is it? Uh, 10. How heavy is that dumbbell that you have? Um, 17. Single arm. Yeah. I was going to ask you the same. Like, I have two 12 pound dumbbells too, so I don't know. Like, is it. Should I go How ahead? heavy is your med ball? Uh, 12. No, I would do the med ball ones. Okay. Jen, I think the med ball squat clean and press will be a better movement for you too. Okay. Instead of the single arm. So you're gonna do like a full squat clean. Yep, and then a thruster. Yeah. 
I think though, Jen, as well, let's do 12 reps. Okay. When you see 10, do 12 and then keep going through your rounds of push-ups. Okay. Marianne, that looked good for the ground to overhead. Sarah as well. Matt, do you have a question? Just how much weight for the... You have, what are your dumbbells? Just you have 30. And I'll tell you if I have it. I have almost all of them. A set for you, a set of probably 30 or 35. Okay. I have that, so. Yeah, I would grab that. Okay. Cindy using dumbbells as well? I think so. What? Probably a set of 20s. 20s? Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, good, Marianne. Tina, your dumbbells felt okay? Yeah, they're all right. Yeah. Good. Right to the ground, catch and press. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah. yeah. And you're doing about eight of those? Awesome. What's that? You're doing about eight um, ground overhead? Yes, yeah, so you're going to do eight ground overhead every time the clock hits two minutes. Okay. All right, guys. Let's get this one started. Wait, Tanya, sorry. Yeah. So, oh, every two, oh, so we're only doing the ground overhead when we're at the two minute mark. Otherwise we're doing all the other stuff. Exactly. So okay. the eight rounds only counts for push-ups and skipping. You're getting oh, through good. eight That's rounds of the push-ups and skipping, but every two minutes okay. I'm going to be stopping you on that work and saying, go do your ground overhead and then go back to your push-ups and skipping. Okay, I'm glad Mary and that. one where you may want to tick off your rounds in the push-ups and skipping. Tracking yeah. both of them might become a bit much for eight rounds. Okay. All right, if you're good to go, you can put yourself on mute and turn some music on. I'm gonna be sharing the clock in that screen where you just see fingers. I'm hoping that it unfreezes when I turn my phone back on. <laughs> it's now frozen on my fingers. So if you don't see the little box with fingers, you can swipe to the screen that you can. That way you'll see the clock. I'm gonna call out the two minutes, don't worry about that. Just when you finish your last set of skips, check the clock, that's your score, the time that it takes. I'm gonna be out of the screen, but you'll still hear me. We'll get started in 10 seconds, okay. All right, five seconds. Good work. Eight to 10 ground to overhead. And then start working through those push ups and skips. Good. Laura, if you can, try and catch a little bit lower. Catch in a full squat if your knee's okay, and then press. There we go, you got it. Keep moving, guys. I'll let you know when you're at that two minute mark. One minute to go with this work. Forty seconds. It's okay if those push ups get challenging. You're thinking probably two sets to get through those 10. Don't want them to be too easy or too hard. 10 seconds, and then we're back to ground to overhead. Three, two, one, and go. Eight to 10 reps again.
Good, Matt, it might feel better if you bring those feet in, the dumbbells come outside your feet. Bring the feet like a deadlift. Remember it's a hinge, not a squat as you hinge forward. Feet a little bit wider, Matt. Right under your hips. Good. This is where things get a bit more challenging. After that second round to grab the overhead. Keep it up, guys. Did that first round count? Yes, yeah, for sure. Yeah. 40 seconds. Uh-oh, Marianne. That barbell might have been too heavy. Keep going guys, 30 seconds. Good job, Tina. Whew. Ten seconds. Two, one, and switch. Ground to overhead. Keep going, Marianne. Back to that barbell. Good job. Good, Jen. Stretch and press. You got it now, Matt. Good, Cynthia. Keep it up, Sarah. One minute. Nice push-ups, Matt. Good job. Doing good, guys. We're just about six minutes in. 10 seconds, and we're back to ground overheads. Fast skips, Tina. Nice. And go. Ground to overhead. Jen ticks off another round. Good job, Jen. Good, Laura. Keep pushing through guys, another, another minute of work. Well, more than that, <laughs> until we go back to the ground overhead. Skips for Cynthia, nice work.
20 seconds. Ten. Three, two, one, go. Ground to overhead. We are eight minutes in. Keep it up, guys. Remember, you're accumulating eight rounds. Just cruising, nice, Sarah. Good job, Tina. Hang in there. Forgot to tell you how spicy this one got. Doing great, guys. 30 seconds. Yeah, I'm so confused. Are you done? No. I'm confused. After I do the eight, and I go back to the number where I left off. Yeah. So what if I finish all eight of the other things and I have to go back to the skipping and a lot of other stuff to finish it? 10 seconds, guys. Once you finish eight, well, you're accumulating eight rounds of 10 push-ups and you're skipping. And switch, ground to overhead. So eight ground to overhead, they'll do now, Matt, but then they're going back into their rounds of push-ups and skipping. What if you already did 10 push-ups? You're doing eight rounds of 10 push-ups and you're skipping. That's what I mean, so in that time now, what if I don't finish the push-ups and the skipping? You just do it's as much as you can. You ground to overhead, then yeah. you skip, then you push-up, skip, push-up, skip, push-up, skip, until I say, go do your ground to overhead again. So if you don't finish the push-up, skip, then you just go on to the next round. Yeah, yep. Okay. Uh, you got it. Sort of. Okay. <laughs> Looks like Laura's done. Good no, work. I'm not, I'm not done. I lost track. Keep going then. Maybe six. I don't know. Two more rounds. Keep on cruising. Keep going, Jen. 30 seconds again, guys. I'd say you're getting close. Back to the skips, Tina. Nice work. Good, Marianne. Those look better. Perfect with that 30. Good. Good idea. Five, four, three, two, one, and clean and jerks. Sarah's done. Good job, Sarah. Almost there, guys.
I'd say Jen's almost done by the way she threw that med ball. She's getting there. Let's go, Tina. Get through those clean and jerks. You got it. One minute. Good, Jen. Thirteen, eighteen, Jen. Good work. Thirty seconds. Those still working? We're back to the clean and jerks. Keep going, Marianne. I think I did the right amount. <laughs> I think, yeah, I think you did. I What's added to my push. Good job, guys. What's the time, Tanya? It's. 13, about 42 when you came to your screen. Okay. Five seconds, Tina. Two, one, and clean and jerks. Almost there, Tina, I know you are. Keep going, Laura. Good work, guys, good work. Just over 14 minutes in. Ninety seconds. Let's go, Tina. Let's get to those skips. I think it's your last round. Nice, Laura. Can I move the screen on back to the regular screen? Okay, sounds good. Come on, Matt, get that butt down. One minute. Nice, Laura. Eight or nine, who knows? <laughs> so 15, whatever, 15, 12. Tina's done. Good work. 15, 11 ish, Laura. Yeah. I think I did more than eight, but that's okay. Tina, you were 15, 21. Keep going, Matt. 30 seconds. Okay, mommy's done. Yay. Good boy. Is he done? 10 seconds, Matt, you're back to those clean and jerks. And switch, are you calling it? You may have done eight, Matt. Are you gonna keep going? Unmute yourself. I don't know if you're talking to me. If you can hear me, Matt, unmute yourself. Are you talking to me, Tina? I mean, uh, Tanya? No, Matt. Oh, because people, because people call me Mac. So that's oh. what I don't know. <laughs> Matt Smith, are you done? I think so. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I lost track. you lost track, but I'd say, I didn't count them obviously, but I'd say you got through maybe eight plus those push-ups. Yeah, so he should have done cumulatively, cumulatively yeah. 80 push-ups yeah. yeah. and 400 single skips. Yeah. No, more than that. Yeah. I was doing 75, but I didn't finish any because why are you doing 75 skips? So that's what it says. Oh, okay, so, but whatever. So 80, 80 push-ups and then whatever matching amount of skips. I think he yeah. was doing extra. I think he was doing extra. Based on how hot it is down here. So when you kept saying every two minutes to do that other little move. And then you start where you left off. Yeah, but what if you didn't finish? Then you finish your skips when you go back to it. Yeah. But then you gotta start the next one, right? No, so we're, we're done now. We're done now. Let's wait, we're done. <laughs>
<laughs> the grand overhead was like a like a timeout, and then after you you resumed where you left off. Yeah. That's okay, Matt. You got a good workout in. Oh, no, that's no, I'm all so it doesn't matter. Whether you get eight rounds, we'll keep that to a question. Okay, guys, let's do the accessory work together as well. This, it's not going to take very long. We're going to do three rounds of 15 RDLs with about 90 seconds rest in between. So for that RDL, you're going to have a weight in both hands. Again, you could use the same weight as you use for that workout or a barbell in front of you. So RDL is a straight leg deadlift. So just a tiny bit of bend through the knees just to keep them safe. And that's all we want with the RDL. You're trying to keep your legs relatively straight. You're not necessarily going to get to the ground with your dumbbell or your barbell. You're going to come to just as far as your hamstrings will hit and then back to standing. What we don't want to see here, once you get to as far as your hamstrings will hinge, we don't want to see you rounding or hinging through your back to get lower. So you're only going as low as your hamstrings will go. They're fully stretched for me right now. I'm going to come right back to standing. If you have a barbell, it's likely that your barbell will only hover the ground for this movement. It's unlikely that you'll be able to get to the ground unless your hamstrings are very flexible. I'm gonna go. Sorry. Yeah, that's fine. Good work, Laura. Good work, you know. He's not. He's not having it. No, not today. Have a good day. Have a good day. See you another time. Yeah, for sure. So you guys can go ahead. First set of fifteen. Keep those legs straight. Then the dumbbells you can bring beside you. So have them like here. Yeah, that'll feel better. Good, Sarah, try and keep your legs even a little bit straighter, even if you can't go as low with that kettlebell. Feel your, that's perfect, Marianne, good. Just to there and come back up. Don't reach to the ground. Strong through your shoulders. Good, Tina. Once you get through 15 reps, just take some rest. Yeah, that's good, Sarah. Good. Good, Matt, but don't reach forward. Dumbbell still right by your sides. Better. Good. A little less bent through the knees too, Matt. There you go. Look in the mirror. <laughs> okay, we'll rest a bit. If you feel well rested, you can go into round two. Kind of just go at your own pace for this one, I guess. Just a small group of you. So if you feel like you're rested enough, you can start into round two. We're going to do three rounds of this. Remember the straight leg part. Try not to dip into the quads for this one. Stay back into those hamstrings. Looks good, Jen. Remember your gaze as well, guys, is right to the ground in front of you. Try not to be too extended through your neck. Keep your spine straight, right to the top of your head, straight line. That's better, Sarah, good. Good, Marianne. Good, Tina. We'll take some rest again, minute to 90 seconds at least, guys. Get those legs some rest before we go into that last round. Jen, what's your dog's name again? I always forget.
It's cappuccino, but we call them chino. Chino. Oh, chino. I don't know if I'll remember that one. Chino. Hi, Chino. He's gone. Oh, he left. <laughs> Cute. He's adorable. Last set, guys. Number three. Round number three. It says two to four, so we'll meet that number right in the middle. Do three rounds. Good, keep that barbell close to you, Marianne. You're pulling back and down through those lats the whole time. Yeah, good. Legs are straight, guys, last set. Tina is done, Cynthia is done. That back flat, Matt. Chest stays tall, good. Good, Sarah. Okay, Tanya, I'm all done. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a great day, Tina. Don't work too hard, eh? Okay, thanks. Have a good one. <laughs> bye bye, guys. Have bye, guys. a good day. Bye, Sarah. Take care. Bye, Jen. Thanks for joining, Marianne. Question for you, Tanya. Oh. Yeah, for sure. Um, go ahead. No, you go ahead. I just, we, I need a proper skipping rope. What would you suggest, Tanya? You want to order one? Yeah, like from Amazon. Let me send, I'll send you a link. Okay. Um, let me get your number. Okay. Sec. Just text you. Right was, was, What's was, your number? I was going crazy using that other one. Um, 416. Yep. 996. Okay. 1574. Perfect. I just sent you a text. I'll find you a link from Amazon. And Matt, with, Matt needs, one, needs one also, so for each of us. Okay. Well, they come in all different lengths, and you'll have to cut it. So you can just order the same one, probably. Okay, yeah. great. Thank you. Cool. Okay, thanks a lot. Have, Bye, a, good have a great day. Okay. Bye. Bye. <coughs> I'm still here. <laughs> uh, you have I just, to do? Um, I, I, well, I haven't done many of them because I've been here early. <laughs> 